what's going on everybody uh, welcome to your eighth jQuery tutorial and instead of continuing with the event handlers part I guess it is the right time to teach you guys what are selectors in jQuery and I have been using selectors in past in my file script.js like this input selector but haven't explained you in a while that what it does and basically how to use selectors in jQuery so let's see what are selectors in jQuery now selectors are basically not anything but elements of your HTML document so for example you have a span down here say two spans down here and in jQuery you do span now what would this do is it would select all the elements all the basically all the spans in your document in which you are calling the script file and this would return a kind of object or an array to jQuery or and to you to work with so let's say I do span dot remove this is a method which basically simply removes the element from the DOM tree so let's see it in action okay so I have this file from the last tutorial and let's see okay so we have the script ready and this already did its task by removing the span tags as you can see we don't have any span now in the DOM tree and this style tag is basically generated by one of my extensions down here so no need to worry about those so this is kind of a selector and selectors basically are followed by a dollar sign or the word jQuery and with parenthesis goes the selector so we have various kinds of selectors and selectors basically depend on the element name or element class or element ID and many more things so for example if I give this input box an ID of let's say my input box so I have two ways to select this input box right now first is the input traditional input by using its elements name and the next one is the my input box followed by an hash ID so if you have ever done CSS I hope you have so you know that this would select the ID which is my input box and uh, just like CSS we have the selector down here to work with my input box so the next thing we have is like classes uh, we have diff class A uh, span class A so we have if I do dot A then this would apply to both of these because both are having the class A but supposingly I want to remove only div with class of A then what I'll do is I'll type the element name first then the class name so it goes like something like this either you type only the tag name only the tag name or you type only the class or ID name or you type tag dot class or tag hash ID and four of all these four are valid so basically we could also do like span and make sure to write all these in quotation marks because if you don't write in quotation marks then they would be treated as some special selectors which I'll be discussing so we have span.a then it would select all the spans having class A which is currently just one so if we try to write the equivalence of these in JavaScript let's say I want to modify the HTML to 1 to 3 and the HTML of 4 5 6 so let's say I want to write the equivalent of these in JavaScript so the equivalent of these in JavaScript is I can do either document dot get element elements by ID and what do I have ID as is A and I would like to select div because div is occurring first 
basically occurring earlier than the span so the id at 0 would be div and the 1 would be span so dot inner html is 1 2 3 so document dot get element by elements by oh there should be class down here class name sorry elements by class name then we have my class name a1 dot inner HTML should be 456 so this line is basically equal to this line and uh, this line is basically equal to this line so you can see the difference in the syntax and the complexity this one looks quite a complex one and unreadable and basically looks a technical line but this is quite user friendly as it says select div dot a and replace its HTML with one two three so that's how basically selectors work in jQuery and we'll be discussing more on selectors in our future tutorials so don't forget to subscribe and keep watching my videos thanks for watching